Coming up on High School Quiz Show, we have Phillips Academy. <laughs> High School! Drive with Safety mobile app was designed with your teen driver's safety in mind. The Drive with Safety app helps monitor and reduce distracted driving behaviors. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life's storms. Museum of Science. Hi, everybody, and welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa. Today's matchup is the third of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and we have had some great competition. Uh, today, it's Natick High School, who, by the way, defeated Wellesley High, uh, taking on Phillips Academy from Andover, who defeated Mansfield High School to move on to these quarterfinals and on the Natick team we've got Aditya, Lucas, Will and Charlie with alternate Andrew and coach Lucas Glavin. <laughs> and for the Phillips Academy team we've got Anna, Vincent, LaSalle and Eric with alternate Carson and coach Lebo Wang. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. We will start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So if teams are ready, I'm ready. Good luck, and here we go. Only three countries in the world have not officially adopted the metric system. Myanmar, Liberia, and what third country? Eric. The United States. Yes. Uh, what king of the Franks was crowned a Holy Roman Emperor on Christmas Day in the year 800? Yes, Lucas. Charlemagne. Yes, commonly used to celebrate a discovery. What Greek word, meaning I found it, is a famous exclamation attributed to Archimedes? Yes, Vincent. Eureka. Eureka. And uh, what chi Chinese American architect designed the controversial glass pyramids in the courtyard of the Louvre Museum in Paris? Yes, Vincent. I am Pei. Yes. Okay, take a look at your screens. Uh, what Union General pictured here was uh, removed from command by President Lincoln in 1862 after missing an opportunity to destroy Robert E. Lee's army at the Battle of Antietam. Vincent. McClellan. Yes, in 1698, what czar introduced a tax on men's beards in a bid to modernize Russian society? Yes, LaSalle. Peter the Great. Yes, what capital city of Bulgaria was once part of the empires of Greece, Rome, and Byzantium? Charlie. Sophia. Yes, in August 2017, several CEOs quit President Trump's advisory councils in repudiation of his response to white supremacist violence in what Virginia city? Yes, Lucas. Charlottesville. Yes, and Shakespeare is Romeo and Juliet. Romeo is exiled from what city after he kills Juliet's cousin Tybalt? Lucas. Verona. Yes. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm Greg Keston, theoretical physicist and host of What the Physics. Here's my question. In 1918, what German scientist won the Nobel Prize for Physics for originating quantum theory? Will. Max Planck. Yes. Into the Primitive is the title of the first chapter of what Jack London novel about a sled dog named Buck? Vincent. Call of the Wild. Yes, which of the seven countries of Central America is the only one with English as an official language? 
Anna. Belize? Yes. What mythical king and founder of Athens is best known for killing the Minotaur in the legendary Labyrinth of Crete? Will. King Minus. No, Phillips, you want to try it? Vincent? Theseus? Yes. A mollusk with a muscle-like foot, such as a snail or slug, is called which of the following? A, a crustacean. B, a gastropod. C, a monotreme. Yes, Vincent. B. Yes, gastropod is right. Math question here. Looking somewhat like a capital E, what 18th letter of the Greek alphabet is used as a math notation to mean sum up? Yes, Vincent. Sigma. Yes. Uh, what gas becomes superfluid when cooled to near absolute zero? Eric? Helium. Correct. On February 4th, 1945, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Winston Churchill, and Joseph Stalin began a wartime conference in what Crimean city? Lucas. Yalta. Yes. Released in the 1990s in two parts, what Pulitzer Prize winning play by Tony Kushner examines the AIDS crisis in America? Yes, Lucas. Rent. No, Phillips, you want to try it? Anna. Angels in America? Yes, what U.S. state is allotted 38 votes in the Electoral College, second only to California's 55? Yes, LaSalle. Texas. Right. Recently made into a film by Angelina Jolie, the book First They Killed My Father is about what country's genocide under the Khmer Rouge? Yes, Vincent. Cambodia? Yes, in World War I, Germany first declared war on which of the following countries? A, Russia, B, Britain, or C, Serbia? Yes, Charlie. Serbia. No, Phillips, you want to try. Vincent. A. A, Russia is correct. In 1842, what Austrian physicist discovered that a wave's frequency changes when the source and observer are in motion relative to one another? Yes, Eric. Doppler. Yes. Also known as the Progressive Party, what political party nominated former President Theodore Roosevelt as its candidate in 1912? Yes, Lucas. Bull Moose Party? Yes. Math question now. Carol spent $35 at the bookstore. This was $7 less than three times what she spent at the coffee shop. How much did she spend at the coffee shop? Vincent. Nine. No, Natick. Will. 14. Right. Nazi Germany's atomic bomb program, nicknamed the Uranium Club, was led by what Nobel Prize winning physicist known for his uncertainty principle? Yes, Eric. Heisenberg. Yes. At just 812 feet, Jermoth Hill is the highest point in what tiny New England state? Yes, Eric. Rhode Island. Yes. Mr. Wilson bores me with his 14 points. The good Lord only had 10. This quote is attributed to what French prime minister during World War I? Yes, LaSalle. Clemenceau. Yes. Also known as that thing with the cups that spin what common weather station instrument measures the speed of wind? Yes, Anna. Anemometer? Yes. The expression to pull out all the stops alludes to the stops or knobs on what musical instrument? Charlie. An organ. Yes. Constituting nearly one-sixth of Canada's total land area, what is the largest Canadian province by size? Yes, Will. Quebec. Yes. What large lake bordering Switzerland, Germany, and Austria forms part of the course of the Rhine River? Yes, Will. Lake Geneva. No, Phillips, you want to try? Lake Constance, the answer. And that ends the round. Score right now, Natick High School, 100 points. Phillips Academy, 200 points. How about it, everybody? <laughs>to go head to head on a high school quiz show but we always take a few minutes to get to know the players and we do that by way of a question which I have in my hand we're going to start with Natick and you Aditya here it is if you had the resources to create a foundation to support any important cause what would you choose to support and why so Billy on the on the baseball field they call me Hurricane Aditya oh really but last year we were hit by three actual hurricanes that were devastating and while the national relief effort in uh, Texas and Florida were effective, it was less so in Puerto Rico. So if I had resources, I'd start a foundation to support the relief effort in Puerto Rico, giving them basic medical and food needs, but also uh, give them back access to the power grid so that they could tune in for season nine of High School Quiz Show. Wow. I wish I had the time. I'm still very curious about Hurricane Aditya. But Lucas, your response. Well. Uh, 
My D-line buddies and I always uh, get in riveting political discussions before practice, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, we always uh, say how lucky we are to live in a country where we can vote and protest, just like we protest bogus roughing the passer penalties. Yeah. And uh, I'd say, you know, across the country, there are some people who, uh, whether because they are felons or face uh, tough voter ID laws, don't have the access to vote. So with my foundation, I would support voting rights. Okay. Should I sit down for this or... <laughs> Uh, how about you, Will? <laughs> well, uh, as both hockey players and TV show hosts know, the shower is a very important part of your day. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and so with that being said, I'd like to improve access to water around the world, uh, not only for hygiene, but also because it's a basic necessity for life. Okay. Charlie, I'm almost afraid. I mean, go so ahead. when Lucas and I hit the end of the D-line, we go home to Natick MA, but I think it's critically important to remember that almost 30,000 people every day are expelled from their homes by violence or persecution. Sure. Uh, and that's the population of Natick. So I think with my foundation, I would look to organizations like the UN High Commissioner for Refugees that work to resettle people, even if they don't look like me or speak the same language that I do. Boy, that's got to be quite a D-line, i got to tell you. It's uh, <laughs> Phillips Academy. Anna, how about you? I'll keep this short. Uh, I would like to uh, support education in rural areas, constructing schools, and improving existing schools. Okay. You can have more time if you like, Anna. I mean, it's a... uh, Vincent, how about you? Um, I'd like to create a foundation that uh, promotes um, computer science education because I think it's very important to humanity's future as a whole. And uh, LaSalle? I'll keep mine short like Anna and Vincent. I would say a foundation to preserve historical artifacts. And Eric? Well, I've been lucky to take a lot of chemistry. I would definitely support STEM education in the U.S. because um, many schools do not have uh, a lot of access to higher level of STEM education. All right, great group, great answers. Now we go head to head. The way it works, you're all going to come forward and you are all going head to head. So let's do it now. <laughs> about to go head to head. I've got Phillips Academy to my left, Natick High School to my right. You folks want to shake hands? We'll get started here. Uh, as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. We have the clock set at 90 seconds. Good luck, teams. Here we go. In economics, the term GDP stands for what? Yes. Gross domestic product. Yes. What quintessential New England poet wrote stopping by woods on its... No yeah. Frost. Yes. Obsidian is an example of which... Igneous rock. Yes. Uh, what World Banking Center is the largest city in Switzerland? But yes. Uh, Geneva. No. Zurich. In July 2017, the FBI raided the home of what former Trump campaign manager? Paul Manafort. Uh, named after an American seismologist, what scale measures the magnitude of earthquakes? Richter? Yes. Uh, what English king commissioned a detailed census called the Doomsday Book? Yes. William the Conqueror? Yes. Uh, the 1787 Constitutional Convention took place in what U.S. city? Yes. Philadelphia. Yes. Who composed the Stars and Stripes Forever, the official? John Philip Sousa. Yes. What river flows through the heart of Paris? Yes. The Seine. Yes. What was the nickname of Thomas J. Jackson, a Confederate general in the Civil War? Stonewall Jackson. Yes. In 2003, the United States put a $25 million bounty on what deposed Iraqi dictator? Yes. Saddam Hussein. Yes. After Boston, what is the second largest city in New England by population? Yes. Uh, Providence. No, Worcester. What Vermont native is the founder of the Mormon Church? Yes. Joseph Smith. Yeah, the legendary King Minos had his palace in what ancient capital city? Yes. Crete. No, Nossus would be the answer. Uh, what woman is publicly shunned in the Scarlet Letter by Nathaniel Hawthorne? Ooh. That's the bell ending round two. Let's take a look at the score in Natick High School right now. 140 points. Phillips Academy, 240 points. Let's hear it. <laughs> Next up is the category round with the following categories. Raising Arizona, Don't Go Changin', Fantastic Beasts, Leaderboard, Strictly Ballroom, and Amazing Grace. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We will need your answer. Nadek, you've got a little ground to make up, but you get to choose the first category. What's it going to be? Fantastic Beasts. Fantastic Beasts. Questions about mythical creatures. And for 10 points, uh, the Greek hero, Bellerophon, attempted to fly to heaven while riding what winged horse? 
Yes, Eric? Pegasus. That is right. You've got the board. Phillips category. Fantastic Beast for 15. Likely based on sightings of giant squids, what sea monster from Norse mythology was said to attack ships off the coasts of Norway and Greenland? Yes, Adidio. Kraken. Yes, you've got the board. Natick category. Fantastic Beast for 20. Also known as the King of the Serpents, what giant reptile that can kill with a single glance appears in classical mythology and in the Harry Potter series? Uh, Eric. Basilisk. Yes, and you've got the board, Phillips. Category. Fantastic Beast for 25. In early Egyptian mythology, what jackal-headed god of death holds the scales that weigh the souls of the dead? Uh, Vincent. Anubis. Yes, and now you've still got the board, Phillips. Fantastic Beast for 30. Okay, what female spirit of Irish mythology heralds the death of a family member, usually by shrieking or wailing? Yes, Charlie. Banshee. Banshee is right now, Natick. You've got the board category, though. Don't go changing for 10. All right. These are questions about human evolution. And for 10 points, humans living in latitudes far from the equator uh, developed lighter skin, which increases absorption of UV light and production of what vitamin needed for healthy bones? Vincent. Vitamin D. Yes, and you've got the board Phillips category. Don't go changing for 15. Uh, Darwin argued that anatomical structures that have no apparent purpose, like the appendix, are leftovers from the course of evolution. What name did he give to these structures? Yes, Eric. Vestigial. Yes, and you've still got the board, Phillips. Don't go changing for 20. For 20 points. Early animal herders in Europe, the Middle East, and Africa evolved the ability to digest milk beyond infancy thanks to a genetic mutation to tolerate what primary sugar in milk? LaSalle. Lactose. Yes, and you've still got the board Phillips category. We'll take don't go changing for 25. Common in people of African descent, what hereditary type of anemia is caused by the same genetic mutation that also provides resistance to malaria? Yes, LaSalle. Sickle cell anemia. That is right. Phillips, you've still got the board. We'll stay with don't go changing for 30. 30 points, Latin for able man or handyman. What extinct species may have been the first of our ancestors to make stone tools? Charlie. Homo habilis. Yes, and now you've got the board data. Category, you'll need one. Amazing Grace for 10, please. Okay. These will be questions about acts of uncommon civility and kindness. And for 10 points, Islam is peace. What president said this at a Washington mosque just six days after 9-11, speaking out against the harassment of Muslims and Arabs living in the United States? Yes, Vincent. Um, Bush the Younger. Yes, you've got the board Phillips category. Uh, we'll take Amazing Grace for 15. All right. Though they had staunchly different political views, Ruth Bader Ginsburg had a close friendship and shared a passion for opera with what late Supreme Court justice? Yes, Will. Scalia. That is right. You've got the board Natick category. Amazing Grace. 20 points. Soldiers set aside their guns, sang carols, played soccer, and exchanged cigarettes and chocolates in an historic Christmas truce during what war? Yes, well, World War I. Yes, you've still got the board, Natick. Amazing Grace. For 25 points, there is no patent. Could you patent the sun? Uh, this famous quote is from what scientist who forfeited untold millions by not patenting his polio vaccine? Yes, Eric. Jonas Salk. Yes, and you've got the board, Phillips, category. We'll take Amazing Grace for 30. When she decided to go solo, who softened the blow by writing the song I Will Always Love You as a farewell to her longtime duet partner, Porter Wagoner? Anna. Dolly Parton? That is right. Phillips, you've we'll got the board. We'll take Strictly Ballroom for 10. Strictly Ballroom. Questions about dance for 10 points. Popularized by Flappers and the Broadway show Runnin' Wild, the Charleston became a national dance craze during what decade? Anna. 1920s? Yes, you've still got the board, uh, Strictly Phillips. Ballroom for 15. Okay, what lively folk dance brought to America by Czech, Polish, and German immigrants is the official state dance of Wisconsin? Yes, Anna. Polka? Yes, you've still got the board, Strictly Phillips. Strictly Ballroom for 20. Hip-hop began in the 1970s as an underground music and dance movement in what borough of New York City? Uh, Didia. Brooklyn. No. Phillips, you want to try it? Harlem? No, the Bronx. Uh, Phillips, you've still got the board, though. Uh, we'll keep with Strictly Ballroom. 
This time for 25 points. In 2015, what rising star made history as the first African-American woman to become principal dancer at the prestigious American Ballet Theater? Yes, Vincent. Copeland. Yes, Misty Copeland. You've still got the board, Phillips. I'm strictly ballroom for 30. Okay, what internationally acclaimed dance center in the Berkshires is home to the longest running summer dance festival in the United States? Jacob's Pillow. Uh, Phillips, you've still got the board. You will need a category. Leaderboard for 10, please. Questions about current world leaders and for 10 points. We Europeans must really take our fate into our own hands. What German leader said this in 2017 in reaction to President Trump's positions on NATO, Russia, and climate change? Uh, Aditya. Angela Merkel. Yes, and you've got the board Natick. Leaderboard. Leaderboard for 15 points. In 2017, what supreme leader of North Korea vowed to ignite an enveloping fire of test missiles near the American island of Guam? Uh, yes, Lucas. Kim Jong-un. Yes, you've still got the board, Natick. Uh, keep with leaderboard for 20. Leaderboard for 20 points. Women and minorities make up more than half of the cabinet of what Canadian prime minister? Yes, LaSalle. Trudeau. Yes, Justin Trudeau. You've got the board, Phillips. We'll take leaderboard for 25. In 2017, what president of the Philippines reiterated his controversial plan of rounding up and killing alleged drug dealers? Yes, Aditya. Rodrigo Duterte. That is correct. You've got the board, Natick. Leaderboard for 30. Okay. The three most followed world leaders on Twitter are Pope Francis, President Trump, and what prime minister of India? Charlie. Nahendra Modi. Yes. Uh, we've only got the one category left. It is raising Arizona, and these are questions about Arizona. For 10 points, an important component of Native American jewelry and art, what opaque blue-green mineral was designated the official gemstone of Arizona in 1974? Eric. Turquoise. Yes. Again, raising Arizona this time for 15 points, what major river eroded rock over millions of years to form Arizona's spectacular Grand Canyon? Well, Colorado. Yes, and raising Arizona for 20 points. I am the bearer of the torch, and now I'm passing it forward. What Phoenix native who played Wonder Woman in the 1970s said this about Gal Gadot picking up her legacy? <laughs> Linda Carter. Uh, and that is the bell ending the category round. The score right now, Natick High School, 325 points. Phillips Academy, 490 points. Let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. We call it the lightning round. And uh, you'll get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. Name the longest river of Africa. Will. The Nile. Yes, the Titanic struck an iceberg and sank in April of what year? Yes, Lucas. 1912. Yes, what British director used real warships instead of computer graphics while making the 2017 film? Do yes. Christopher Nolan. Yes. In To Kill a Mockingbird, what is the name of Scout's brother? Yes, Lucas. Gem. Yes. Renal is a descriptive term for what organ in the human body? Yes, Anna. Kidney. Yes. Name the northernmost of Japan's four main islands. Uh, Hokkaido. Well, yes. Uh, what Irish author wrote many plays but only one novel, The Picture of Dorian Gray? Yes. Oscar Wilde. Yes. Uh, the source of the Danube River can be found in what famous forest in western Germany? Yes, Eric. Teutoburg. No, the Black Forest. Uh, what French architect designed the plan for the city of Washington, D.C. and the National Mall? Pierre L'Enfant. Uh, the Boston Red Sox last won the World Series championship. Yes, Will. 2013. Yes. What six-letter suffix means rain when added to a cloud's name? Will. Nimbus. Yes. Uh, the opium wars between China and Britain. Yes, Will. 20th century. No, 19th. Who is the current prime minister of Israel? Charlie. Benjamin Netanyahu. Yes. And Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream. Who is the king of the fairies? Yes. Oberon. Yes. Uh, the Rights of Man, a defense of the French Revolution, was written by what American pamphleteer in the 1790s? Yes, Vincent. Payne. Yes. Mount Kilimanjaro is located in... Tanzania. Yes. 
And that ends the game. The winner this week, Phillips Academy with 550 points. Runner-up this week, Nanak High School, 485 points. Very impressive. Both teams, great round. Congratulations. Phillips Academy now will move on to play in the semifinals. So be sure to tune in. We'll see you all and you all back here on High School Quiz Show next week. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. There are hundreds of dangerous intersections out there. Fortunately, there are even more independent insurance agents who work with Safety Insurance, helping to ensure you're covered no matter where you drive. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. This is the place where planets collide, where the world is taking notice, where 28,000 brilliant young minds from 65 countries call home. UMass Amherst, this is the place. A production of WGBH.